Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of superficial lipoma. A 34-year-old male patient came with right supraclavicular lump for 4 years. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the long section of the lesion. You can see a capsulated mass here. It is ecogenic and confined within the subcutaneous layer. If we check carefully, this oblong shaped mass shows internal fine striations. These striations are parallel to the skin. This pattern indicates it to be of fatty tissue origin. There is no posterior acoustic enhancement here. So, this lesion is a superficial lipoma. Depending on the internal fat and water contents, you may or may not see the posterior acoustic enhancement, which is absent here. There is no intrathoracic communication, which may be further visualized with the curvilinear transducer. Here is the transverse section. You can see well capsulated lesion here with internal striations. Here's the picture. You can see the lipoma at the subcutaneous layer. This is an extended superficial view or panoramic view. You can see the fine striations parallel to the skin. Again, another picture of the lipoma. You can see the capsule here. The lesion measures around 8.3 by 2.3 cm. Here we have compressed during scan and you can see the slight compression over here. Lipoma is a compressible mass like subcutaneous fat. Here we have used the curvilinear transducer to see the lipoma. We have used color Doppler also, but there is no apparent internal vascularity. There is also no prominent peripheral vascularity. No intrathoracic communication is seen. So we use the curvilinear transducer to take the 3D images. Here are some 3D images of this lipoma. It may not be useful for making a diagnosis, but practicing to take these images may help you in near future. We have also taken CT like sections from that 3D data. The lesion is seen here from different planes. So, in summary, a well defined oblong shaped encapsulated compressible hyperechoic area with internal fine linear striations parallel to the skin indicating fatty lesion is seen at the subcutaneous layer of the right supraclavicular region. Color Doppler shows no internal or abnormal peripheral vascularity. So, these features conclude it as a case of superficial supraclavicular lipoma. Now the take home message. If you find lipomas painful or tender, then they are known as Durkham disease or adiposis dolorosa. Whenever you see a soft tissue mass, you should use color Doppler. And if you see mild to moderate internal vascularity in a lipoma, consider it as angiolipoma. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.